You know, I heavily debated not doing this video at all because I had sort of an internal dilemma about whether or not shedding more light on a bunch of sort of cowardly acts perpetrated by a bunch of punk individuals would be a good course of action to do. Obviously, we're not trying to inspire people to do negative things to people's cars. So, you know, what could be the reason for us to possibly do another video on it? After talking with a number of people about it, people that I respect, uh, I've came to a conclusion that I think you guys will agree with about why this second video needed to be made. So without further ado, guys, here, uh, here we go. So let me give you guys a little bit of background on what happened if you didn't see yesterday's video. In fact, if you haven't seen yesterday's video, pause this one and go check it out. But I'll give you the brief summary if you don't want to watch the whole thing. Basically, Shmi uh, has his Ford GT in America right now, driving around the U.S., having a good time. Went to the Hobbs and Shaw premiere down in Boca Raton and, you know, left his car in the parking lot, went inside, watched the movie. And during the time that he was in the movie, uh, a bunch of punk kids, one in particular yesterday, sat on his car, took a bunch of pictures, smeared his hands all over the car. Uh, luckily, there was no damage, but obviously, a very disrespectful thing to do to a car that is well over half a million dollars and it wouldn't honestly matter how expensive the car was I don't care if you've got a thousand dollar beater car there it's not okay for other people to mess with your property I'm a big believer in personal and private property rights so it always really kind of grinds my gears when I see people disrespecting that out in the public I feel like it'd be the same thing as if somebody came up to my house started messing with my house messing with my car is the same thing I feel like it's basically like an extension of my home so in case you guys were wondering are uh, the original poster of the pictures uh, got his account taken down. Instagram decided to intervene. I had enough complaints against him. Obviously it goes against their terms of service to mess with other people's property and to egg people on the way that he was doing. So they actually terminated his account. Now that's kind of where I thought we were going to be done with it. I had an entire other video ready for today. Decided to make this one last minute because of what just occurred about an hour ago. So all of a sudden I'm sitting here having breakfast and I start getting tagged in a number of other photos from a different kid. Not the same kid, but from a different kid, uh, basically telling myself and Shmi to go F off. Not a very nice thing to say. If you had any pity for the guy yesterday, you might want to hold on for a second. Through some really amazing Instagram sleuthing and all the uh, the Life of Apollo squad, the LP squad coming through with me, it turns out that this second guy was actually part of a group of individuals that included the guy from yesterday. They are all sort of friends, apparently. Shmi even took time out of the video that he was shooting to pose with a picture with all of them. Like seriously, Shmi, one of the nicest guys, stopped what he was doing to take a picture with these guys and the moment that Shmi leaves the area, they start messing with his car. Now basically there were a lot more photos than surfaced just yesterday. Uh, a bunch of them appeared online. Uh, I blacked out the names of the accounts. So there's a couple reasons for why I've done this. One, I don't really want anyone going over there. I don't want them to get any satisfaction out of uh, having their Instagram account talked about anymore. I'm not gonna be showing their actual Instagram accounts. What I do want to do, and here's the reason why I'm showing you guys the group picture again, is because these guys all live relatively near Boca Raton from our understanding. This is where the movie premiere was, and obviously these people think that they're somewhat integrated into the car community. Obviously they wouldn't be there if they weren't to some degree, most likely. So here's what I want you guys to do. If you happen to live down in the Boca Raton area, memorize this particular picture, and don't let these individuals into any of your car events. I pretty much imagine that all of them should be blacklisted from any of the great car events that are down there in that area. If you happen to see them about and you happen to run an event down there, I wouldn't let them in. They're obviously going to mess with other people's cars the moment your back is turned just like they did to Shmi. These people obviously have zero respect for other people's property. That just makes me so upset. So to summarize here, the reason why we did this video is not to, you know, try to inspire a bunch of people to go out and do negative things. Obviously that's not what we're trying to do at all. What I thought was important was to shed light on the people themselves to make sure that they couldn't be allowed into other supercar events or car events of any nature down in that area. That's the only reason we did it. We wanted to make sure that people in that area knew that these people were messing around with other people's property and not to allow them into their events. So make sure to memorize the photo if you happen to be running an event down in the area. These are the people you need to watch out for. They are more than likely to mess with your stuff and obviously post really negative things about it later when they decide that you've no longer suited their purpose. And let me make one thing really perfectly 
perfectly clear for everybody watching here. I don't want a bunch of threats of violence. Uh, obviously these, these people did some really stupid stuff here and are trying to elicit a really negative response from everybody around there. They, they seems very aware of that. What also kills me, by the way, a small note on this, is the original poster of the car reached out to me yesterday and was asking me to take down the original video. And then I find out that it was him and all of his friends and basically that he was lying about the whole thing. So obviously uh, a very disingenuous individual. Him and his friend group should never be allowed in any other car event in that area whatsoever. But to get back to my original note here, do not send any threats of violence. Do not post their personal information anywhere. I don't want any of that. And don't try to find him on Instagram either. I want this guy to stay in a complete obscurity. I just want people to know his face. And obviously they're going to see that in this particular video if you happen to be in the area. So feel free to voice displeasure, but stay respectful. We want to stay a couple bars ahead of these guys. We don't need to sink to their level whatsoever. Anyway, that's all I got, guys. Kind of a different video today. Just kind of frustrated with the, uh, I don't want to say the youth of America, but it, it's weird. I feel like people just have absolutely no respect whatsoever these days, and it, it kills me to see this. That's all I'm going to say about it, guys. Feel free to leave your comments in the picture below, but make sure to keep things as respectful as you can. Thanks for listening, guys. One, one final note here real quick. I did reach out to Shmi once again to let him know that this sort of second wave of things had occurred at the exact same event, and that we'd only seen sort of the tip of the iceberg of it. He did agree with me that they should probably be blacklisted from area events that have any sort of relevance having to do with cars or supercars too. I didn't really want to get another statement from him. He said pretty much all I was going to say yesterday. Still being very classy about it. And because I cannot possibly end my video on such a negative note about a bunch of punk people, I'm going to go ahead and jump into something else here for a little bit and kind of give you a real quick skimming of some really cool channels too because I just got to end on something positive. First up is Savage Garage who has kind of an interesting update on the, uh, the Kentucky cop that gave them a bunch of really crazy tickets including uh, I guess hitchhiking. I guess when you're on the side of the road even though they were just sitting outside their car and the sort of judge and district attorney that apparently knew their channel. So definitely go check out Savage Garage. I just kill in the game a really fun format of their latest video. I think you guys will really enjoy it. Next on our list and sort of flying through is Amelia Hartford who finally takes her to Grandma's Cars Drag Build to the track. Tons of fun. A really great episode. She's obviously super pumped. Uh, definitely go check out this video. It is uh, it's gonna blow you away. It's just so fun and like kind-hearted. I don't know. I was smiling the majority of the time I was watching it guys. Check it out. Link in the description below. Next on our list is actually she be race and not racing like i said a thousand different times and i'm so sorry if you guys are watching this a sheepy race has a new vlog out and i gotta tell you the way that they set the tone the atmosphere in the sheepy race videos is so chill they're just sort of being themselves it feels very natural i'm not forced it's not a performance it's just exciting to watch I, go, definitely go check out sheepy race's channel just a really fun thing to have on in the background it feels more like just a kind of a chill laid-back version of television and finally on our list today is houston crosta who has a really cool video measuring the decibel level the sound level of different supercars all sorts of crazy cars lamborghinis all sorts everything you can think of they've sort of measured the decibel level to see how loud they are in comparison to other cars really fun video definitely go check out houston crosser's channel if you haven't already a lot of fun stuff going on over there and that's all i got for today guys have a great saturday i think it's saturday i don't have to yeah it's saturday have a great saturday we'll catch you guys tomorrow morning for another beautiful episode hopefully not having to do with a bunch of punk kids have a great day guys we'll catch you tomorrow and uh, that's all i got bye